everyone. It's Friday, November 7th, 2018, and it's time to go to work on music. It's been an excellent day. I'm in a really good place and excited for a productive session. I'm definitely ready to step up my game on the music front here, and uh, the schedules have been cleared, guys, so here we go. Um, gonna hit some online classes here, update you guys with what's going on in Tom Morello Masterclass and the Hardcore Tracking Class. Um, then going to get uh, a quick content fill in and then a quick guitar practice and then take off to run some errands and then come back and hit the super super cut super stupid cover super hard tonight I'm just gonna go all out on that and get as far as i can with the lead parts the finished vocal parts and then as much of the drum takes uh, as i can as i can get in in the time that i have and it should be a productive day and hopefully i'll be able to wrap it tomorrow which would be a huge victory so appreciate you guys for tuning in let me know if you have any thoughts or questions as we go through the session and i'll update you at the end with what i accomplish let's go Awesome, awesome session today. You know, I really just wanted to come into today and just like go hard on the effort front, just like hit it as hard as I possibly could and make good decisions as far as where I invested my time and energy. And I did that and I got some great results too, which always is, you know, fantastic. And so today was definitely a big win. And those days really keep me going through some of the more difficult days where, you know, you feel like you're going all out and just not quite like making the progress you want to make. Sometimes that happens. So uh, I hit the online class front and got into the Tom Marilla master class. Just kept it pretty short because uh, I wanted to get out, get some errands done today. Well, the sun was still out, and um, yeah, he was just talking about how he makes some of the like Dr. Dre sounds and stuff, uh, like the really high whistles and sirens. He uses the whammy pedal and the whammy bar at the same time, which I thought was pretty cool. And then I quickly hit the hardcore tracking class and was just watching Jordan automate some um, faders for the drum overheads is where he begins. And it really reminded me of the Mix with the Masters with Eddie Kramer. If you guys don't, uh, if you guys aren't familiar with Mix with the Masters, it's an incredible resource if you're into audio production. And basically, you sit in on mixing sessions with these guys who are like the top pros of the last like 40, 50 years. So Eddie Kramer engineered and produced, I believe, uh, at least two, if not many, of Jimi Hendrix's recordings. I think he did Electric Ladyland and Are You Experienced? Some of you guys might be able to correct me on that. He's also done some posthumous stuff for Hendrix, uh, and he, I think, engineered, possibly produced Led Zeppelin too. I mean, this guy's like as big as it gets, guys, and when you watch him in his Mix with the Masters series, he's, he's constantly automating every single fader and really performing the mix and putting a lot of feel into every, fit, every fader, and it's like you realize he is like another musician on the project who's sort of like automating the performance so all the sounds are sort of swirling and mixing and it makes it feel much more organic and natural and live and uh, it's just fucking awesome the, the way to see behind the scenes because like as an average person you just wouldn't necessarily understand and once you see it for yourself you're like oh that makes so much sense you know so anyway um jordan's got a cool setup where he's just got one solo fader in his home studio and that's kind of the thing i was thinking about doing myself with for automation so i'm gonna look into that which is great and it's just cool to see other professionals doing it from there i uh, got a quick guitar practice in and then uh took off ran some errands came back did a content fill and uh then jumped into working on the super stupid cover and I was listening to stuff and I was feeling like, man, this really isn't where I want it to be. And I started work, I sat down to work on some of the rhythm tracks and then I realized like, no, 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 the rhythm tracks are fine. Like I did work sonically on those. Like I got those to the place where I wanted them to have this sort of looser feel because the whole track has this very live, very loose feel. And I didn't, uh, I wanted to retain at least some of that spirit and energy of the original tune um, because I've already changed quite a bit from the original. Um, so yeah, I just spent like three hours, I think, just knocking out lead parts and I just went through section by section, just hearing what Eddie Hazel was doing there and then kind of taking inspiration from some of his stuff melodically and rhythmically and not really copying every lick note for note. In fact, I don't know that I copied any licks note for note in that whole tune. <laughs> I think I've really put my own stamp on it. But just trying to capture the vibe of the solo and like get my own ideas in there and not make it into an exercise where I'm like trying to make it exactly the way they made it, you know, but really just trying to capture the energy and the vibe and the feel. And that's always the thing I'm disappointed with when I listen to a cover song is like either they didn't totally change it and make it completely their own or they didn't capture like the essence of the tune, even if like many of the particulars are different. So that's what I try to do when I cover tunes is just capture like the spirit of the song. So that's what I'm going for. And I'm really excited that I got clarity with the drums, you know, not having those be synced to the grid and just doing it more organically and naturally. And I think that's going to be very, very fitting for this track. So yeah, I got all the leads done, which I'm extremely stoked about. That was a huge milestone. And then I was thinking of calling the session early, but I was like, no, we're staying in the game for however long we scheduled. You don't quit when you're tired, you quit when you're done. So I just took a little break, came back and knocked out a couple vocal takes that sounded really, really good. And I'm, I'm really stoked on uh, how how my voice is sounding right now, given that I've taken, you know, several months off from singing heavily. Um, and yeah, I'm just... Really love my ISO, vocals, uh, ISO booth. It really makes tracking vocals just so much easier and more comfortable in a house setting. And I feel like I can really belt it and go for it and just get all the emotion into the take that I really want to get and all the volume into the take that I really want to get and all the energy that I really want to get. So thank you, ISO That's the whole session. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys are out there grinding towards your goals and enjoying the process. That's what I'm out here doing. And I will see you guys tomorrow for more. Can't wait.